Hey, yo, what's good? It's Bodega Bams, and we listen to Speaker Box X with B Rev on 99.1 FM Downtown Radio. to KTDT Tucson or 99.1 FM Downtown Radio, the antidote to corporate radio. You're now tuning into Speaker Box X, Sub Training's Hip Hop and Effect with your host V Riv. We have a very special guest in the studio. He goes by Virgo. How you doing, Virgo? Doing pretty good. Thank you guys for having me. How are you guys doing today? Pretty good. Not too bad. Uh, your name, Virgo, it stands out. Are you a Virgo? Like, do you, Are you into yeah. horoscopes and all that? Uh, I mean, horoscopes is cool and all, but I mean, Virgo, I am a Virgo. Uh, you know, initially I was known as Donnie Kai. You know, I was on the show before. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And, you know, I, I took off. Like, I, I don't want to say I took off, but, you know, uh, you know, I had a family, you know, put those roots down. And, you know, I just finally got back into it and started thinking. I was just like, to me, I feel like I hit the peak for Donnie Kai. I mean, I felt like there was still more to do, but... I wasn't really feeling it in a sense no more. And um, initially when I first started rapping, you know, like I had, you know, some references as like I'm a Virgo. So I was like listening back to all my old stuff. And I was like, you know what? Like that fits, that that goes better. You know, like I feel Donnie Kai is a mouthful, say. Yeah. <laughs> but when you hear Virgo, you know, it's real easy, real clean. And you're yeah. just like, like, who's this? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and even with the new name, like it's a new new type of sound, new type of everything. Like, everything's new, so I, I'm, I'm loving the whole Virgo feel. You know what I'm saying? So I felt like it was time to switch up, and I felt like I made a, you know, a right decision in, in choosing that name, Virgo. And I feel like it, it resonates with me, like, really well, so. Yeah, for sure. It's weird. I You look familiar, because I've had so many people, you know, on the show, so I'm like, I think you look at those. So, yeah, you are Donnie Kyle. Like, you look yeah. familiar, but I was, I don't want to, like, you know what I mean, make you feel uncomfortable. Like, what? Like, yeah. not only, like, you know what I mean? Like, because you know, some people get a little bit, like, offended or whatever. Yeah, but, um, awesome. yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, cool. So, you know what I'm no, saying? No, I was no, just, man. like, picked up some pounds since then, but, I mean, I've been eating, so it's all good. That's good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. For sure, for sure. No, yeah. Uh, so where were you born and raised? Let's start with that question. You know, Tucson, Tucson, Arizona, all day, every day. You know, I reside over here on the Boswiaki Tribe Indian Reservation. So, you know, that that itself, you know, speaks volumes. Um, you know, especially now, like, I got a whole lot of, you know, different sounds. Like, yeah. like I said, back to Donnie Kai, when you heard that, you got like a taste of what it was like on our side. You know, yeah. it wasn't really like the city sound. It was a different kind of sound that we were hitting everybody with. And they weren't really ready for it. And now, like I said, with the whole Virgo thing, it's it, it's it's nice. Cool. It's nice right now. 
Awesome. I'm glad to hear that. Um, so what type of music and or artists played a major role in shaping your adolescent years? Um, high school. I'm going to start with high school, honestly. Like, cause I felt like that kind of gave me the confidence to be who I am. Is uh, listening to Tyler the Creator, that whole Odd Future Collective. You know what I'm saying? Oh like, yeah, they at were that odd. Time, yeah. <laughs> so it was just like listening to them. It was, it was different at the time because what was it? Everybody was kind of like into currency. Was Khalifa, Tyga, you know, all them at the time. Yeah. And when I was listening to Odd Future, they were just kind of like, like, like for real. Like you listen to this, and then um, you know, as the years went on, you know, like everybody's kind of, kind of, kind of hopping on that wave. You know, once that kind of got, I felt like got a little played out. Everybody was wearing like the tie dye t shirts, the odd future clothing. I was just like, all right, like, what else could I listen to? So, you know, I started listening to J. Cole, um, you know, Boss, like the whole Dreamville team. And, and I felt oh, like they kind of, like, their lyricism and everything was just, you know, it was amazing. And then getting in the top dog, you know, that whole entire line of itself was just like, it was crazy, you know? Yeah. The whole lyricism, the story concept that they had, and I was just at that point, I was just like, damn, like you know, what? like I, I need to start kind of getting on that tip because you know, from just writing, like when I started writing, it was like love poetry. I felt like it was kind of like over time, just listening to the different things that I was hearing, I was able to you know grow as an artist, hear what I liked, and then start painting my own picture and, and my own words, and you know, I felt like they kind of shaped me. You know, I am as an artist today, you know, especially with the whole different kind of sounds being versatile with like, you know, not just sticking to one sound, it's being able to mix, you know, a whole lot sure. of it and just be able to revolve around that. So dope, dope. Yeah, that's dope. Um, so what was the pivotal point in your life where you decided to make MCing like a part of your life or like, you know what, I wanna pursue a career in this? Like when what were you doing and what inspired you to what inspired you or who inspired you? Because maybe somebody inspired you to be like, hey, you know what? You sound so good. You know what I mean? Like, you could be jumping on all kinds of tracks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I have to go with, um, you know, like everybody who's been around me, you know, the whole team, the whole camp, even before we had a team, um, you know, like shout out the homies, Carlos Capital, shout out Sam Rose. They're the ones who, Toro Gold or Drop Dead Pops, um, you know, they're the ones who have brought me to the studio at one point. You know, they were just like, hop on this track, see what you sound like. I got on it, and, you know, it was just kind of like, they were amazed. I was amazed at, at how well I did. And, um, you know, from that point, it just got me, you know, started writing. Like, you know, I was basically dropping a song a week when I first mm -hmm. started. And then just, I guess, hearing, like, the growth that I had over time. And it was, like, not even a whole year that I was able to, like, spot the growth and be able to. Uh, how would you say, like, pinpoint different things that I wanted to change, like, with myself, with my sound, my edits, things like that, and I felt, you know, like, within that time frame, I was growing too fast to where I started just dropping projects. Instead of just dropping singles, I started dropping whole different projects, like, every couple of months, I stayed consistent with it, and, you know, it started getting to the point where everybody was kind of, like, you know, noticing me, you know, when we were out, like, in the city, you know, like, hey, that's Donny Kai, this and that, like, what's up? I'm so and so, this and whatever. And then um, it started getting to the point where I was getting like DMs from like other artists, you know, wanting to work. So I was just like, damn, like, this is pretty cool, you know. And then, um, <laughs> you know, Vaspasi came around the corner. Yeah. And then when I dropped that, I felt like that itself like took off because it got to the point where we were having shows in the city, like, if not every week, every two weeks, we're out there in the city, like, doing something. Um, and then we started venturing out towards Phoenix, and I felt like at that point, you know, it started kind of taking off because we were getting shows out there. But yeah. you know, um, you know, I had a family, and, and you know, I was just like, which one's a priority right now? And I was like, families first. So I put the music thing aside, and you know what I'm saying. And I mean, to this day, like I still have people asking me questions. You know, like you think if you stay consistent, where where do you think you'd be? And to be honest, you know, like, if I stay consistent, I kept my foot on that gas, I would have been up there. And then, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, like, gloating or nothing, but yeah. that's that's confidence that I have in myself and my sound. And, yeah. um, you know, I thought it was good to, to take take some time off and, you know, appreciate life, appreciate family, be able to grow, be a dad, be a husband, you know? So, yeah. and now, you know, like, I'm back to the music, 
So I felt like this itself is going to take itself, you know, somewhere. Hopefully yeah. where I left off. But that's another thing is um, <laughs> everybody knows me as Donnie Kai. They don't really know that I switched over to Virgo yet. So yeah. if you check the SoundCloud, you, you know, like they're pretty low. But once everybody catches on, I know that things don't take off. It's just yeah, timing. Yeah, for sure, for sure. We're going to go ahead and take a musical break. I'm going to go ahead and play the track called Crown Virgo, produced by 98. And this is off um, Virgo's EP called Out of Orbit. Yeah. Check it out. It's nice. It's nice. <laughs> Chalice. I search for peace, trying to find a perfect balance. We are not the same, I'm cut from this cloth. Mine is genuine and be authentic. Now, no knockoff. I stay clean with it. Even through the weather change, I stay dripping. Name change, same face, I'm not different. But I've been distant. And it's still the same capture we been linking. I took some time, shit I'm overdue. I had to cut ties, fuck a lifeline. I've been at prime time since birth, then I know my worth. I keep a small circle around me, paper chasing, I know halo. Bad decisions around me, if you wish, don't like my pesos. I'm too smooth, but a bread with that queso. I put the homies on game like I spray some. And even from the sidelines, I tend to gain some. This shit is like a marathon, I got weight, but I play some Heavy weight, no featherweight, we check the scale I see my cup full, to the brim, I can't even swim Poison in my soul like him, I'd rather die in sin To the brim, I can't even swim Like I am him, I'd rather die in sin I let this fat cat shit get the best of me Five star smells, bigger shirts to fit comfortably. Double XL on my tank for 220. My diet store that Monday, push that bag to 2020. And the money, weed is all I need. That's my recipe in love with the. I got booty to hit. And while I hit it, I stay hit it. I'll be surfing it. And I'm a fiend. I'll admit that I'm just trying to get my fix. But anyway, this is me. I'm just speaking by myself. I'm drinking water, meditating. Help me find out by myself. In any way, I cleanse myself. My soul is saying that I can help, and that's alright, dog. Don't believe me, I get by, dog. I pay my dues into them lights, dog. They know my name, but not my face, and that's alright, dog. And I'm coasting through the ocean, sipping poison that be potent. Got me feeding for my fix, and I can help that. I've been one with the earth, and y'all can smell that. Sending prayers to the most high as I told that. Quote, I keep my cup full to the brim, I can't even swim. Poison in my soul like him, I'd rather die in sin. To the brim, I can't even swim. Like I am him, I'd rather die in sin. You're listening to 99.1 FM, Downtown Radio, the Antidote to Corporate Radio. You're now tuning into Speaker Box X. Subtraining zip hop in effect with your host V Riv. We have a special guest in the studio. He goes by um, I want to say Donnie Kai because we've been talking about Donnie Kai, but he's 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 uh, revamped. He's Virgo, so um, he's Virgo. We just played the track called Crown Virgo, produced by Ninety Eight, off his EP called Out of Orbit. And what inspired the creation of that EP or Out of Orbit? Like, did you feel out of orbit at some point, or like? Do you feel like, at, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. At the time, life. you know, I did, you know, like, I felt what everybody was was listening to with their, like, the music scene now, you know, is very melodic. And uh, shout out my boy Cupid, you know what I'm saying? He's uh, he's up an artist from, you know, Tucson, Arizona, born and raised, Maspiaki, Indian Reservation. You know, listening to the stuff that he has, it's, it's very different from what a lot of people have or out right now. And uh, just listening to his thing, like, I was able to just kind of, like, vibe, you know. It's had that sound where you're just like this, bobbing your head, moving your body. And then, um, you know, just getting in that vibe, listening to what he has, and then we'll just be listening to some beats. And I'm just like, you know what, like, this is, I'm feeding off of what he had, so carrying over into this one, and I'll just start kind of, like, I guess, yeah. writing in my head, in my phone. And then it just, you know, like I said, just transpired. And I felt like what we have going on, is different from what is out there right now. So it's just like, you know, I felt like this is everybody and we're just out here just going around everybody right now. 
you know what I'm saying? Just rotate. Yeah. Just, and, and, you know, like I said, it's just time before, before everybody hops on. Um, but, yeah, that, that's pretty much the sense of out of orbit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're not sure. here, we're out here, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you guys get to, gotta get to our level at this point yeah i like exactly, that over exactly, it. <laughs> exactly that's, that's cool that's cool yeah your track polluting produced by i samuel jam that was super dope now what inspired the creation of that track what was going through your mind or life at that time that one i felt like that, that that's where it came out how would you say like where i was how am i how do i want how do i want to portray myself as an okay. artist you know like i said like when you hear Virgo, you think of, or in my sense, I was just kind of thinking, I was just like, because I'm very critical of myself and how I want yeah, to they're, they're critical so, Exactly. So I'm just like, when I think of Virgo, I think of somebody who's in the score horoscopes, you know, as we've mentioned before, <laughs> um, you know, things like that, like like uh, like feminine, things like this. So yeah. I was just like, once I put Virgo out, I need to follow it up with something, you know, hard that's going to, you know what I'm saying, like hit people where, mm-hmm. you know, how they're not going to, uh, expected and i felt like polluting was that perfect way and it's crazy because that that to me that track itself is you know like at the time when i wrote it we were on our way back from california and you know it was like a how do you say like a straight shot like we went to california one day and came back so it was kind of like a red eye yeah, if that makes sense tough. so yeah you know no, that's yeah, why i had I was, those trips before <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fun, yeah so that's how the you know I'm on that 24, eyes red plus my luggage, you know what I'm saying? Like, stay to stay <laughs> close and might as well just be the ocean. You yeah. know, that whole thing, I was just like, when it, when I wrote, said that in my head, I just like nonstop on the freeway, just riding home, bar after mm-hmm. bar. And I was just like, this itself is just turning into something cool. And I want to say I sat on that verse itself for like a whole year before I even recorded it, before I touched it. Damn. And you know what I'm saying? Like, it, I felt like, like I said, I was just like, I just needed to come out, you know, with a bang. And throwing it the first track on, on Out of Orbit, I felt like yeah. it did it justice. It did it well, you know. And it did. That, that, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. No, I like it. That's that's cool. Uh, what's your opinion on the state of hip-hop? Is it in a state of emergency, in a state of renaissance? What do you feel? I don't know, honestly. I don't, I don't know where I really fall in that category. You know, I felt like everybody has their own sound. So I would yeah. say, you know, in a, in a renaissance, if that makes sense. Okay. We don't really got a sound that portrays us as, as Arizona. I feel like everybody has their own roots, their, their own styles. And, and, you know, even us, like, over here, we're, we're linking up with, like, live bands. where We're, you know, checking them out, listening mm. to them. And, and, you know, so in, in my sense, you know, I don't really got, like, a... There's no no barrier or no limits as to like what stops gotcha. me from other music groups. Like if I like it, I'm a, I'm gonna listen to it. I'm gonna support it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And, and that's where I feel like how do you say? It? I feel like that's where everybody should be in a sense because you know when I was Donny Kai pushing that Vox Vox it was just more of like everybody was kind of like segregated and weren't really like supporting everybody. But it's just like mm-hmm. once one of us makes it out, you know, all of us makes it at the end of the day. Yeah, if one eats, all eats. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that's how it is. Like, you know what I'm okay. saying? And, and I feel like everybody just kind of needs to to get on that tip. And I don't really see it as like a state of emergency. You know, it's mm-hmm. uh, I feel like everybody's doing their own thing right now, and everybody's gonna find their own lane sooner or later. Somebody's gonna break that barrier, bust down, bust down that door, and make a name <laughs> for themselves. So. No, for sure, for sure. Um, on that note, what do you, um, how do you feel about Tucson, the Tucson hip hop scene? Is everybody being represented? Um, what, what's your take on it? I, I think so. Uh, you know, like I said, it, it's, uh, it's definitely hard. You know, and I've experienced it myself. Is, um, you know, trying to generate a following. But if the, if the music's there, if the quality's there, everybody, everything's gonna fall in line. It, it's just timing. You know, I'm kind, I'm currently going through it right now. Like I said. The whole Donny Kai Virgo name change so yeah. it's created that barrier for me. But like I said, once I knock down that barrier, um, people start listening, tuning in. They're gonna hop on that wave and it's gonna be able to, you know, take off. But as far as like, you know, the whole Tucson scene, you know, I feel like I've said, everybody just needs to kind of start, you know, collaborating more, um, getting outside that box. You know, don't be putting up barriers. You know, 
because that that stops us as a whole, not not just as an artist, but as a you know the whole Tucson community. community. Yeah, exactly. for sure. And and um, you look at the Tucson community compared to the Phoenix. The Phoenix is you know obviously doing better, but Tucson is like right there on the neck. You know what I'm saying? And I'm from Tucson. I love Tucson. I support Tucson. You know, and and that that's you know my take on it. We just need to come together, start collaborating more, pushing each other, and. Um, you know, just create like a friendly competition with each other because at yeah. that, I mean, it's going to start pushing our limits. And at that point, you know what I'm saying? It's going to push us to the peak where we're going to be dropping projects that are, you know, like five stars, if anything. You know what I'm yeah, saying? For sure. And that's cool, all cool. we need to do. All right. Cool, cool. We're going to take a musical break. And we're going to play the track by um, Virgo. It's called Polluted, produced by I Samuel Jam. And it's off his brand new Spakin EP called Out of Orbit. Red plus my luggage, state to state coast, and might as well just be the ocean, not the beach boys. I'm light skin, don't take it lightly, not a threat, but I promise if you want it, then you got it. I'm your Huckleberry. See, I finished what they couldn't pick it up, then run it, turn it nothing in the summit. Shit, diamonds shining, beaming brightly. I know they see it, it's very blinding. That's probably why I wear prescriptions. 2020s on my head list, I might hit it, I might miss it. Bushing stocks instead, they miss it. In the now, Lord dismissive. Either way, I'm finna get it. I don't sleep, I got that way, I know the game. The throw beats from the logos to the smoke. Them pockets fell, my belly fat, y'all know them cats. We run this thing, that money call it never fall. I'm hella faded from running bases. It's only big bags that I'm chasing. I got that money calling, just like Oasis. Y'all need Rosetta Stone to learn them basics. I love that paper, so change the masons. I get that gas around the corner, full tank. Crossing through the motion, Sunday driving hella patient. I got some clientele sitting on that wait list. I'm getting closer to the stars while my neighbors lurking. I be searching for a reason, now I find a purpose. All that work and all that paper, getting cash in advance, play it safe, couple aces, we could burn to get the clips. All the angels up above me, keep a stick on their hips. We live fast on the gas and the pockets loaded. Paper chasing, burning gas, we just not polluted. Flying low on the skylines, getting gas around them. Take me sideways on the gas in the drain. All the problem most slow it down when I say. Tip me sideways on the gas in the drain. All the problem most slow it down when I say. Tip it sideways on the gas in the drain. Tip it sideways on the gas in the drain. I don't call it Moses, slow it down when I sing. Tip it sideways on the gas in the drain. Tip it sideways on the gas in the drain. I don't call it Moses, slow it down when I sing. Tip it sideways on the gas in the drain. Tip it sideways on the gas in the drain. All the problem most slow it down when I say. Tip it sideways on the gas in the drain. You're listening to 99.1 FM Downtown Radio, the Anadotes Corporate Radio. You're now tuning into Speaker Box X. Subterranean hip hop in effect with your host V Riv. We just play the track called Polluting, produced by I Samuel Jam, and that's off of Virgo's brand new spanking EP called Out of Orbit. We've been chopping it up, and he pretty much talked about the Tucson hip hop scene, about how we can, you know, how to make it better. Is that we need to collaborate more, help each other out, grow. Um, because if one eats, we all eat. <laughs> if one exactly. one breaks out of it, you know, this yeah, yeah. Uh, pretty much lead to everybody else breaking out of it as well. So I agree with that. Um, so just more, more I guess, community, more collaborations. Um, but, you know, even though Phoenix might be, it's it's bigger. I know that that's, that's what they have going for them, that they're bigger. Um, but I feel like if we all do our part, we definitely can make, you know, hip hop be the scene here in Tucson, like be the thing that people want to come and visit and check out for sure. So I agree with you on that for sure. Uh, so what inspired the cover art? Because your cover art for your EP, Out of Orbit, it just has like um, it's blue, and then it has like the lettering out of orbit in white. So why didn't you make it more complicated? You just you wanted to keep it just like simple. Like I thought you you know what I mean. Like it was kind of what was your take on that? 
Yeah, to me, it was more, it's kind of like uh, less is more. Okay. You know, you know, I like to keep it simple at the time. And you know what I'm saying? Just like out of orbit. When I think of out of orbit, you know, I thought of stars. And time, I was just like, it was just too dark to capture, you know, the stars yeah. in the picture. So, okay. you know, I was just like, let's just go with the sky, you know, like blue. Yeah. And then, um, you know, with the, with the text. Clouds looking, I, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I was just like. <laughs> It'd be cool because initially it was just gonna say like across straight across out of orbit, but I was just like, it'd be cool if we incorporated like a like a flying saucer somehow, yes. you know, out of orbit like a spaceship. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And and that's why I shaped the text the way it is. And yeah, I mean, okay. if you guys get the chance to see it, you know, you guys understand what we're talking about. Uh, you know, it's a dope concept as a yeah. cover art that, that you know I thought of, and uh, you know I felt you know what I do when I create the cover arts for myself is all keep it up on the computer, play okay. the track itself, and then see if that's the vibe that I'm getting just from that picture. So it's it's kind of like a uh, picture's worth a thousand, a thousand words, and that that's where I was going with it. Oh, okay. I felt like it resonated really well with the project. That's dope. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. So you put it up on your computer, and then you listen to the track and see if it vibes yeah. together, if you vibe yeah, with yeah. it. Yeah, exactly. That's, awesome. that's cool. That's cool. All right. Um, so I really enjoy a track um, called DeLorean, produced by... J keys uh what's a deeper meaning to that track like i feel like there's you know what's a i feel like it was a fun track but yeah i, know, I feel like there was like there was some hidden text in there i don't know maybe i didn't catch it all i don't know what's, <laughs> nah, what's your... <laughs> this is basically like just kicking back you know what i'm saying like you know when, I, when i'm like for example like when i'm in the silverado you know i'm just chilling in the, you know just coasting and yeah. you know i was just like i want something to vibe to and I felt like at the time, I was like, I never really created anything that I could vibe to. Like, yeah. actually vibe, just kick it, listen yeah. to it. And so, you know, when I heard that beat, I was just like, I want to do something to it. And, yeah. and, you know, like, my favorite movie growing up as a kid was Back to the Future, you know? Mm -hmm. So, and I always thought that the DeLorean was sick, you know? It's just, it, it was just like the sick whip, <laughs> everything, you know what I'm saying? Like, sure. it was everything. I always wanted one of those hoverboards. And so oh, yeah. if I ever had a chance to get an actual DeLorean, you know, that's the first thing that I'm going to pick up is a hoverboard. But, um, you know, like I said, that that's where it came from. And, you know, when I was, just, like I said, just listening to the beat, it just started coming out. It just started coming out, started filling in those gaps. And um, nice. it, it just, you know what I'm saying? It, yeah. it, it's something nice, you know, like, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know. I don't really know how to explain it. I you feel know, like you're not in your body when you're listening to that. I don't know. It's like a track yeah. where you're like, I don't feel like it's kind of like, you know, it kind of like um, defies some sort of reality, yeah, like, I guess, just by the yeah. sound of it. it it's, yeah, it's for like sure. Kind of like that 8D. That, that's kind of how yeah, I felt. It, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like when I hear it, like my body just lifts out and, and you know, yeah. hence the name out of orbit. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I was just like, you know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> That this oh, yeah. is it. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't really know how to explain it. Yeah, you know, no, like, it is hard to explain. Sense, I was but, like... <laughs> but when you hear it, and especially when that hook comes on, you're just like, damn, for sure. like, everybody's just going off. And, you know, I actually dropped a, a visual for that. And, you know, that itself, you know, like when I was making the visual, putting yeah. it together and seeing the actual final product, you know, like that itself was amazing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I oh, felt no. like it reflected how I felt at the time, you know, especially the fact yeah. that. It's kind of like a, uh, it, it's just a video of, you know, the, the DeLorean, but it gets to the point where I guess in, in like the terms of movies, uh, Tron, you know, like yeah, the whole video Tron, hits it, that that's where it gets. And it's just like, damn, like when I heard it, I was just like, oh, like this is <laughs> nice. <laughs> Good, yeah. And, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So every now and then, you know, I'll be, I'll be watching that video. I'm just like, I made that, you know, I'm able to sit back, relax, and finally vibe to something that, yeah. you know, that I was able to create. You know, my son, he loves the video. He loves watching. I catch him every now and then on my phone, just yeah. watching the video. And, you know, awesome. I was just like, that's it's cool special. to see that that, that younger, special. you know, he likes it. So That's, it, good. that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Um, do you have a creative space or a place you go to that allows you to dive into your creative mind with ease? Uh, yeah, I mean, anywhere where I'm able, just basically able to, you know, vibe. You know, I, I mean, obviously right now, I'm in the studio. That, that's where I'm at. This is the studio. This is uh, Cupid's studio. Um, you know, I can show you guys around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. give us a little tour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's see. 
uh, how do I fix I like the lights. It's, yeah. You know, so obviously, you know, we got the lawn chair. I'm usually kicking it over here, just, you know, minding my business. I was just recording right here in the middle. Cuba's the one who's usually right here on the on the table. You know, we got a little lamp yeah. going on for when we vibing. I mean, shout out, like I said, I shout out Cuba. These, these are nice. <laughs> these are nice. And I mean, you got the That's whole so cool. with the mirror in here. So yeah, no, you know, sure. this is like the this is the studio. This is where you make you, know, sp- you make it happen. Make music. Um, you know, like I said, this Cupid studio. So shout out Cupid without him. You know what yeah. I'm saying? The whole out of orbit project wouldn't be where it's at you know he's the one you know usually i'm the one who makes and masters my my uh, projects but you know he like i said he has this different sound that that he goes off of and you know yeah. i like it. it's something that that to me it's unique so you know i just handed it over to him and i was just like you know what like do your thing uh, i'm gonna step out yeah. let you vibe and when i come back everything that i had before sounds 10 times better than what it was you know what i'm saying and we actually, me and him got a project that are, you know, it's currently underway. Um, you know, he's helping me work on this other project that I, I wanted to drop, you know, sometime within the coming months. Cool. You know, he has some things that he wants to drop. So it's just like, you know, this is a space. This is it. You know, it's Cupid Studio, man. It's, dope, it's dope. Nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Creativity cool, cool. at its finest. Nice. Uh, would you like to share a personal experience or something most people don't know about you? Yeah, I mean, I felt like, or honestly, like, I feel like I'm the definition of self-made, you know, shout out my pops, you know, I felt like he, he instilled that in me, you know, to cut the middle mouth, to cut the middle man out as much as possible. You're right, the middle mouth, you're right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got so, you. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, to this yes. day, you know, like, if I see something, I'm a, and, and I want to do it, I instill it in my brain, you know, like. I'm, I'm going to do that, you know, like, I, there's yeah. no, to me, there's no failure, there's, there's, you know, like, there's no limit, you know, so if I see something that I want to do, I'm going to do it, you know, like, for, like, exactly, like, right now in the whole COVID-19, like, this whole thing just kind of shut everybody down, but I felt like right yeah. now is the time for everybody to pick up all these different tools, add them on your belt, you know what I'm saying, for like, sure. for example, you know, like, my pops is, like, an artist out here. And he's always been tattooing. And, you know, I just recently started tattooing. And I felt like, you know, just from doing my first tattoo to, uh, you know, the recent one that I recently did, you know, I felt like it, it, it uh, how you say, progressed. You know what I'm saying? Um, same thing with the cover arts. You know, I took that under my belt. I saw, you know, the homie Gilbert, you know, who initially started doing my cover art, showing me how to do it. Um, you know, I started learning. And now I'm able to create my cover arts. I'm doing it for the homies. You know, so I'm, like I said, like I feel like yeah. I'm the definition of self-made. You know, being able to pick up anything, be able to run with it, and I feel like, you know, you know what I'm saying. I feel like that itself yeah. makes me unique in in, in a sure. sense. You know what I'm saying. I'm able, like I said, I'm able to cut the middle man yeah, out as much sure. as possible. Yeah, you have to, man. He takes too much. <laughs> he exactly. takes too much of the pie. <laughs> exactly. So it's just like it, it's cool because you know how you said. You know, I don't got I don't got to split my pie with anybody. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Hence why I picked up a cup of weight. You know that. You, yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's dope. That's cool. That's good. That's good to hear, though. I'm glad. I'm glad for you, for sure. Um, so speaking about food, uh, what food can you not be without? If the apocalypse were to happen, what's one food you're like, I can't live without this? This is like a fun question I ask everybody. But like, what would be your food? Honestly, I I have to say tacos. Tacos that's is good. like my favorite. Any kind of tacos, honestly, like, well, it's, it's crazy because growing up as a kid, I never really liked tacos, like, at all. Yeah. Never liked them. I always dreaded the days when my mom made tacos, but, I mean, I had to eat because that was the only thing that they were going to be making at the time, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And, and uh, you know, but it, but it's weird. As, as I got older, I want to say is I had my son, I started liking tacos, and, you know what I'm saying? Now that's just something that you got to have every week, if not, wow. you know. Got to make it a routine. Got to fit it in there somewhere within a week or two weeks. If not, yeah, it's just yeah. every time I hear somebody say taco and I haven't had one, I'm going to start salivating. My mouth getting watery. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's just one yeah. thing that, that oh, I'm cool. Gonna... That's dope. That's dope. All right. So um, so speaking about quarantine, because I know we mentioned quarantine earlier, what have you been doing during your free time um, 
in, in quarantine? Like, have you been reading books, watching movies? What type of movies, magazines, podcasts? Have you been have you been reading and or listening to lately? I mean, obviously staying in tune with the news. I mean, we obviously just had a you know presidential election just recently, and you know, like I'm 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 hoping that that America's gonna you know get right now, now that Biden's up in presidency. Um, yeah. You know, so you know, staying in tune with the news, you know, but not trying to get indulged too much into it. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, I have my son, I have my wife, you know, so, you know, every now and then we'll, we'll get out of the house and, you know, see what there is to do in Tucson, you know, go out and be with nature, uh, you know, be outside, um, you know, watch movies with him, you know, just keeping up with work. And then, like I said, just working with Cupid on this music, and just, you yeah. know, just finding that balance, yeah. you know, at first it was sure. kind of hard because it's like, what can we really do? And then, you know, the whole COVID cases, I want to say, just started kind of like increasing. And now, I mean, they're back at a rise again. We're seeing those spikes. So it's just like, just yeah. kind of got to relax and sit back and see where it goes from here. It's just, it, yeah, like true. I said, it's just crazy right now. But, I mean, we all adjust to it. So we'll yeah, see okay. how, how it goes, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, wherever my wife and my son is at, you know, I'm, I'm happy with, with that. You know, oh, okay. world, so oh. I'll go wherever we're at. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. All right. So we're almost at the tail end of the interview or at the tail end of the interview. So what are your words of wisdom um, for anybody that's wanting to do what you do or wanting to pursue a career in what you're doing? What would you tell them? Just stay on the grind. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're your own critic. Don't listen to what anybody got to say. You know, if you feel it, feel it. Run with it. Don't give up that torch. You know what I'm saying? If they want it, they got to come take it. <laughs> Keep your foot on the gas, protect the neck, you know what I'm saying? And cut the yes. middleman out as much as possible. For sure, man, for sure. All right, it's been a pleasure interviewing you. It's been dope. Um, I'm definitely going to play the DeLorean right after the interview. It's called DeLorean, produced by J. Keys, by Virgo. He used to be John, uh, Donnie Kai, but he went through, you know, everybody goes through their changes, and it's a positive change because he feels more in tune with Virgo. I think it's a, I, I like Virgo. I, I think it's a dope name. Um, it just like I said, I think about the sign. I think about because I yeah. I'm into I'm into horoscopes. I, I kind of you know I don't believe completely you know yeah. everything you say about the signs, but I definitely dig them. Um, I like the creativity behind them. You know, so I know Virgos are like perfectionists. Um, they're yeah. very they're very like you know they're on their um you know they're on their their grind. They're like very precise. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You gotta <laughs> gotta make sure everything's straight. Top nines, we got to make sure everything clean and neat. Feel me? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, so it's good. been awesome interviewing you. Um, I wish you nothing but the best. Uh, when you drop new material, make sure to hit up Speaker Box X. And yeah, it's just like I, I, I thought I recognized you, but it's nice to know, it's refreshing to know that you were on the show in the past, yeah. but now you went through, you know, you're going through a different, you know, you're in a different level right now. So you have to change your name. That's all good. And yeah. you're right. Donnie Kai is kind of a long name. Yeah, it is. It <laughs> is. Little, and the pronunciation and like the spelling everybody has to do. Virgo is just easy, yeah. simple, clean. Yeah. <laughs> For sure, for sure. All right, so I wish you the best, um, Virgo, and to make sure to. Oh, how can people support your music? How, where can they go to to support your music? Uh, you guys can find me on SoundCloud at the Virgo. That's T H E E V R G O. You know, you can find me at SoundCloud. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter. All of those handles are going to be at the Virgo. Once again, that's T H E E V R G O. Cool, cool. All right, so um, I hope you have a great day. I know it's kind of dark. It, it, it look for some reason I felt like you weren't in Tucson because like over here it's already dark. At least I'm like at the other, I'm like on the other side of Tucson, but like it's really dark and over there. It seems like there's still some light going on. Yeah. But um, <laughs> but now yeah, over here on the southwest side, you know the sun's barely yeah. setting. It's, it's you know, yeah, we already side, set. Man. You can see in the back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's all good though. Um, but yeah, for sure. Um, it's been a pleasure interviewing you, and I wish you nothing but the best. Yeah, for sure. Thank you guys for the time. You know. Wish you guys well. Hope you guys stay safe during this time. You know, thank you guys again. You know, yeah, appreciate sure. you guys. Yeah, for sure. All right, man. Take care. Peace. All right, you as well. Later. Later.
just for myself. Get bags of wealth, go from a neck. Ruby for the chase. I'm all stake, no ego. Money, power, that's lethal. Can't blow the silver bottles. Twenties on the big body. Stays on the belly. Coasting, head on their minds. Posting with great eight models. Forever searching for the body. Hold my time, I need a bag in the comments. Stars keep falling like the leaves out of order. Pass me a dice, you're going down, breaking silence. All around the world, just to pull up on the island. Keys.